Hi, my name is Anna Oliveira. I'm a researcher and assistant professor at the Faculty of Biotechnology, uh, Portuguese Catholic University, Porto, uh, and I'm the head of Biomaterials Group. Among other uh, projects, we have been dedicated uh, to the development of a nitrogel wound healing uh, material that uh, is developed from a new protein, silk protein, uh, which is called sericin, and can be applied in the treatment of chronic wounds. It can fill them uh, in all its form and volume. So these wounds are very difficult to heal, which represents a challenge for uh, clinical staff and it causes a huge impact to the quality of life of uh, patients. My name is Paul Walsh. I'm a teacher and a researcher uh, in the Health Sciences Institute at the Catholic University of Portugal. I integrate the, the project team since my practical knowledge is essential for the development of new dressing materials. The experience as a clinician allows me to help to define and validate all the parameters of the new hydrogel to allow its effective applicability. When we compare it to other hydrogels, one of the main innovations is that besides being natural and biocompatible, it can uh, have a fast gelling capacity in the wound and uh, it's about two minutes, which contributes to an easy feeling of the defect and it transforms itself in a very uniform dressing, transparent and with enough elasticity to be adapted to the body movements. If needed, it can also accommodate the possibility to incorporate therapeutic agents or ph pharmacological agents for a better uh, treatment efficacy. So originally this protein uh, is uh, um, a waste from the textile industry. So one of the interesting points of this, about this project is that we have the possibility to transform uh, a waste product into an added value uh, product for the biomedical area. So we believe that this product can be adapted to other uses um, because sericin has been largely commercialized in the, air, in the cosmetic area given its antioxidant and hydrating uh, capacities and also um, properties that are uh, being described in the literature as anti-tumoral. We know that chronic wounds can go through several stages acquiring different aspects, sizes and depths, which lead us to the improve uh, and adapt the dressing to the form and the place of the wound need. Since commercially the dressing materials have limited formats, it's difficult to adapt. Most of the hydrogels on the market have a high fluidity, requiring a secondary dressing to be retained in the wound bed. There are also other products commercialized in powder with ability to gelify when moisturized with the exudation itself or after spraying saline. But in the case of synthetic polymers, they are also less biocompatible and are not biodegradable. The full filling of the wound bed is an important issue. Avoid us to reduce the waste in case of using the traditional dressings that we need to cut to adapt to wound needs. After the development of this hydrogel, which is presently in its patenting phase, international patent, and we are going to perform advanced in vitro cell culture studies and also in vivo studies with wound uh, models, animal wound models. So our team has already a collaboration established for this purpose with the Institute uh, for uh, Research and Innovation in Health, I3S in Porto.